Hey guys, today's video is a spring makeup tutorial on this look right here. It's very warm tone and very glowy. I think it's just perfect for springtime. This video is also a collab video with stylist Fashion Boo. She has such beautiful eyes and I really enjoy her makeup tutorial. She is also doing a warm tone smoky eye look. So after watching this video, make sure to check her out. I will link it down below. So if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. I just tried the lash extensions for the very first time. I hated it, so I'm going to remove it next week. Anyway, to start, I'm priming my eyelids with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And then going on with the Makeup Geek Shadow in Creme Boulet. I'm using a Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush and just to set my eyes, apply it all over the lids. And using the Makeup Geek Shadow in Chickadee, this is uh, what's this brush? This is the ELF blending brush and I'm just applying this shade at my crease as a transition shade. I did build it up several times to reach the color I desire. Then this is the NARS eyeshadow duo in Surabaya and I'm using the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease brush to apply the more brownish red shade at the outer corner and slowly drag back to the crease. And going back with the same brush and use the Chickadee shade to blend out the harsh line and just to bring back the warmth a little bit more. And I use a random fluffy blending brush with no products on just to blend even more. Then using the e.l.f. mineral eyeshadow in the shade bronzed, I'm using a e.l.f. brush, uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's just a more flat and precise brush. I'm applying it all over the inner parts of the lids. Since it's a pigment, it has a lot of fallout, so I'm just using a makeup wipe to clean it off. Then line my eyes with the Maybelline Hyper Sharp Liner per usual and just do a little wing here. The lash extension makes applying eyeliner extra hard, so that's another reason I want to remove it. But anyway, I'm just applying my eyeliner and that's it for the eyes for now. I'm moving to prime my face first using the Maybelline Instant Pore Eraser and just to apply it at the place that the pores are a little bit more visible. And then using my Holy Grail foundation, this is a Makeup Forever face and body foundation. As you can see, it's running very low already because I use it so much. The brush I'm using is also my Holy Grail foundation brush. This is from Sigma, it's their F80 Kabuki brush. And I just apply one thin layer all over my face. This is how I usually prefer for spring and summer makeup. I prefer it to be as light and natural as possible, but if you want more coverage, you can just go ahead and apply more. And then using the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer to conceal my under eye area, the dark circles, some blemishes here and there, and just to blend it out with my fingers. Now setting my whole face with the NARS Light Reflecting Press Setting Powder so to set my whole face and also my under eye area. This is actually a brand new one because I used up my previous one completely so very happy I got a second one. And using the LA Girl Glide Gel Liner in black and just to fill in my waterline. And then going back to this NARS duo in Surabaya, I'm using the Real Techniques uh, accent brush and just to smoke out my lower lash line so that there's some warmth in it as well. To bronze all over my face, I'm using the Bomb Bahama Mama bronzer. Not to contour or anything fancy like that, just to uh, bronze all over my face so that my face looks nice, warm and sun-kissed. For spring and summertime, I usually prefer my face to look a little bit softer, not to carve out or anything like that. That's why I don't really contour. The blush today I'm using is the NARS blush in the shade Gina. As you can see, it's a beautiful peachy pink color and I just think this type of shade is also perfect for springtime. And NARS blush always has fantastic quality as well. 
and using the Laura Mercier matte radiance powder to highlight my cheekbones this is such a gorgeous highlighter it's very smooth very natural and it's really like a glow from within so highlighting my cheekbones and also a little bit at the bridge of my nose using the real techniques detailer brush to highlight my brow bones as you can see it's just really intense and beautiful now moving on to the lips for lips i'm just using a very sheer lipstick this is a maybelline pretty and healthy lipstick in the shade vibrant caro it's just a very natural sheer type of lipstick but still give your face a nice pop of color so that completes this makeup look i hope you guys enjoy it I really like this type of warm glowy look and I just can't wait for the spring to arrive soon. Also make sure to check out Stylist Fashion Boot. I actually just got my very first ring light, I'm still playing with the light. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you like my videos and follow me on my Instagram and Twitter. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye bye.